For many years, when you talked about 13 WMAZ News, you talked about Tina Hicks. She was a hometown success story trusted by you when it came to giving you all the news from around central Georgia. Tina passed away last night after battling health issues for several years. In 2019, I had the opportunity to sit down with Tina and talk about her career and about the community she loved. And good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Tina Hicks' path to the anchor desk wasn't necessarily a straight line. First, I wanted to be in the Air Force to be a pilot, a woman pilot. Then I wanted to be a nurse. Then I wanted to be an anchor. Her road to the television spotlight was actually helped along by an article of women's clothing. This guy was... Um, DJ, and he got me to do radio spots. And I remember the one I did was for pantyhose. And her voice on the radio caught the ear of the station's general manager. He called and asked, who was that voice we heard? And they told me it was Tina. That radio spot was just one of the first steps to get Tina in the door at 13 WMAZ. She served as a co-host of Ebony Speaks and then took a job on the switchboard. I answered every phone call that came in. And from there, she took off. And I couldn't stay still. She moved to AM radio, then to FM radio, before moving back to reception, working as a news secretary. I started shooting stories for reporters. I taught myself how to shoot. Shortly after, she auditioned for an anchor position. I was scared to death. <laughs> After overcoming some early job jitters, Tina quickly established herself as a reliable and caring voice for the community. The stories that we did, the stories that help people, I like those. Here at Focal Point Women, and beside me is a quilt with the names of women. Those stories included Tina's Friend for Life series, urging women to do self-breast exams and sign up for mammograms. Here's how it works. Each woman chooses a friend, calls her on the 13th day of each month, and reminds her to do her self-breast exam. One lady I met, and she said, she saved my life. And I said, how? She said, your series on breast cancer urged me to check my breast, and I checked, and I had a lump, and it was cancer. Helping people enabled Tina to become a recognizable face wherever she went but that celebrity status never changed who she was. I couldn't be anything but genuine, and I wanted to be that wherever I was. That genuineness, both on and off the air, allowed Tina to establish a strong bond with the viewers. I guess they felt like I was a part of their family. Was that important to you, that they felt that way? Yeah. Because I would be invited into their living room and dance, which, you know, was pretty good. As for how Tina would like Central Georgians to remember her? As a hard worker, somebody who added to the community and a good worker for charity. Pretty good life. Here's how I will remember Tina as an articulate and authoritative and reassuring voice for thousands of Central Georgians every night. I will remember her as a kind, caring, and compassionate person who respected other people, even when that respect was not always reciprocated. I will remember Tina as a mentor to many people. I would rarely walk by her office and not find someone sitting inside seeking her counsel on everything from work to relationships to family matters. I will remember her as a gifted anchor, and I would always marvel at how she could take words printed on a page and turn them into thoughts and feelings and emotions that made people care about and trust what she was saying. I will remember Tina as a proud person, proud of her family and her children, Katina and Kevin, proud of where she grew up in South Macon, and proud of her role in the community, where she provided a bright light for others to follow. We have all lost people we were close to in 2020, family and friends who touched our lives, I find comfort tonight knowing they can all sit back and once again listen to Tina Hicks tell them what's happening straight from the heart.